Looks like pictures of the Exaltation Chamber. Yeah, the Ket are using some Angaran-made medical equipment. Could be a lead. We just want an edge on those Ket bastards. If they ever got their hands on Sid, I'd... Well, imagine if it was Sarah. I don't know what I'd do. We're all that's left of our family. Same here. Sid was so little when our father left, and I was... Well, her age now. You raised your sister by yourself? That can't have been easy. Had to. I waited forever for our father to come home. He never did. He was involved with some bad things. Bad people. Eventually it caught up to him. There was nowhere to run. Not like a whole new galaxy. Is that why you came here? When you're young and stupid, you make bad decisions. Piss off the wrong people. That sort of thing never goes away. Not for you, not for the ones you care about. I don't want to not come home one day. Come on, you're strong, smart. It'll take a lot to keep you from coming home. Strong, smart, but maybe just lucky. Luck runs out on you. I won't. That gill flapping. I have a good feeling about you, Ryder. I should get back to work. Talk to my people, see if they've heard anything. Chat later? Chat later. Or chat now. I thought I hated the cat before. Then we learned about exaltation. I can't even begin to imagine how Jal feels about this. I was curious about you and Sid, being on your own from such a young age. Yeah, I really wouldn't recommend it. Where was your mother in all this? Back on Palavan, I suppose. She was an awful person. All she cared about was climbing the ranks. She and my dad fought all the time. I think at the end they hated each other. When things were really tough, I thought about going back. But she wouldn't have accepted us. Whatever my dad did destroyed any chance of that. Where was home? Palavin? No, we'd already left Palavin by then. Whatever our dad was involved in meant we weren't welcome there. I hadn't even gone to boot camp yet. Sid was barely a year old. We eventually settled in a mining colony in the Minos Wasteland. Two years later, our dad was gone. How did you keep you and your sister afloat? I was barely more than a kid myself, so lots of unskilled work. Construction jobs. No one else would do the dangerous stuff, so I would. Being up high, crawling under things. I could shoot a gun, so eventually I moved into smuggling. Even more dangerous, but lucrative. We were never rich, but we got to comfortable. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. One more person. Liam. What are you doing? Liam? <sighs> That's not proper form. You're working pretty hard. But way All the too time. High. Started young. Smart little kid. Got angry a lot. Side effect of giving a shit. Liam, what's going on? We found that facility on Vault. Kicked them in the teeth. Great. But the cats steal what people are. Everyone should have a stake in that. So I reached out. Trying to get resources moving in a real way, bridge that gap like I did with Joe. I can't get permission coming or going. The Nexus, Aya, everyone is all can't take risks with outsiders. I didn't come here so everyone could be goddamn outsiders. Oh. You're taking on a lot, making all of Helios your problem. It is our problem. We're not going back. We have to make it work. I wanted this. Everything new. But eventually, it... It has to be normal. I need something... familiar. Can I show you something? Did you bring anything... from the Milky Way? One or two things. But the weight limits were real strict. I know. That's why I made arrangements. <laughs> a car. It's a proper petrol burner. 20th century. British. From when that mattered. My whole family works here together, weekends. <laughs> like those are a thing in space. Know what we did? Friends in Hustle set us up good. They borrowed us a transport right before I went into cryo. And me and my father and mother loaded our car into it and pointed it at Andromeda. 
It's a nice gesture, but you know you won't see it again. Oh, it's, it's a couple million years away at standard light. The important thing is, it's coming. And always will be. I don't know what that means. We do what we do. It doesn't always have to make sense. Uh, I'll probably screw it up, Pathfinder. Join the club. The screw-up started 600 years ago. <laughs> Truth. <laughs> this will be home. It has to be. I won't let being outsiders stop that. This guy loves taking off his shirt. <laughs> the Matthew McConaughey of this crew. Making things kind of uncomfortable, man. Pathfinder, sorry if things got strange last time we talked. You're the first person I told about all that. It, um, felt really good. It's still kind of strange right now, man. Not gonna lie. Anything I can do for my team, Liam. Stuff like that goes above and beyond Pathfinder. At least I hope so. Anyway, made me think we should do more just out and about. Off ship, like the market on Aya. I've got some contacts and some things I'd like your eyes on. But mostly, it's a day out. Something familiar. Turns out I need that. Okay, we just picked up a whack load of quests. Let's see here. Ooh. Who's working on the Nomad? Strike team ready for deployment. We have talked to everyone on the ship. Let's see. Take a look at our quest lines. Journals. Priority helps. Helios. Tempest. I haven't been to the Nexus in a long time, long time. Bold Orbit is steady. Kinda, let's go to the Nexus. We'll grab the the tape and the space monkeys. <laughs> space monkeys. do okay I think it's a good thing that we drop by the Nexus. There's probably a, like still waiting for that email. Pick up the space monkeys. Pick up the tape. This Phoebe's thing. Here we are. One young Pijack. Ready to see Andromeda, huh? 
Sam, can you send a note to Kesh? Make sure our new friend gets delivered to the Tempest. Acknowledged. What do you use biomaterials for? Nice to see you again. Vehicle merchant. Paint jobs. Codex, journal, movie night. Want to make sure that doesn't feel like having lots of visits or occasional visits to the Nexus is a good idea. We have a lot of stuff to do here. PB has her apartment. We got the Dallas movie. Probably will get interviewed. Whole bunch of stuff. these sand memories that we have to uh, we've unlocked so let's go watch them finally as sleepers wake from stasis the initiative urgently requires blood tissue and dna donations see a medic if you think you may be eligible this is hns so i think we're gonna go to dad's office go right no no, no. sand note first then we'll go to Dad's office. Had a backlog of memories here. Watch them all. Pathfinder, be advised the Angaran AI from Vault is now active and mostly cooperative. <laughs> mostly? Ryder, one of your father's memories is available. Let's see it. This memory is from when your parents returned to Earth after your mother was diagnosed with her disease. It's simple. We take Sam. Who? I named the AI. Simulated Adaptive Matrix. Sam. We use your research and interface Sam with an implant. Um, my work on biotic implants was yielding results, but this... I don't know. What did the doctor say? Alec. What did he say? It's getting worse. There's your answer. This will work. Sam can fix you. Alec, I'm not some war you have to win. You're not an N7 anymore. That doesn't mean we- They kicked you out of the Alliance for this. We're talking about your life. Alec, did you ever consider that maybe it's my time to go? I'm human. We die. It happens. Ellen, please. Losing you is not an option. The kids aren't going to lose their mother. God knows they never had a father. Then give them one. They just asked for a refund. <laughs> so can this Sam talk yet? Hello, Ellen. Why did the tree go to the dentist? Um... To get a root canal. <laughs> Humor algorithms. I can't seem to get the hang of it. Or maybe it's the guy teaching them? That felt so real. Mom was right there, alive. It was the first time I met Ellen. My education on human mortality began that day. Your mother seemed prepared to die. Mom was practical. Living in denial wasn't going to solve anything. Yet Alec didn't see it that way. He persisted. Logic goes out the window when your wife is dying. I'm beginning to understand where your father's resolve came from. Private audio logs are now available in your father's quarters. Your progress as Pathfinder has unlocked an additional memory. Let's see it. This memory is of a family gathering on Earth. Finally, the Ryder clan in one room. It feels like it's been years since we were together. Or more. Well, I'll take whatever I can get. I've missed you too. 
How are you feeling, Mom? No, we're not doing that. There's only one rule for this visit. No talking about me. I'm fine. And when I'm not, the pills help. Deal? Okay. Good. Let's talk about something else. Alec? Um... Really? Well, uh, you're both looking... taller. Yeah, Dad, that does tend to happen. Right, right, I know. So, um... I heard the Alliance has a new Mako in the works. Yeah, word is they can airdrop this one from a ship. I know. They're saying we might get one on our next expedition. You still poking around the attic in Traverse? It's amazing. We think we might have found a Prothean site. No artifacts yet, but we're still digging. Ah, uh, I remember the day they found the first ruins on Mars. Changed my life. We knew for sure that aliens were real. We just had to go find them. Yes, every day I wake up, I'm looking at a Mass Effect relay, and I keep thinking, what's on the other side? Don't lose that. The minute you stop wondering what's beyond the mountain, you die a little inside. No chance of that. It's in our blood. You infected us. What was it like, Dad? When you went through that first relay? <laughs> Don't believe the stories. The Garon relay scared the shit out of us. Admiral Grissom included. Why don't we go have this dinner your mom's been slaving over all day? I'll tell you all about it. Our mom looks like nothing like us. <laughs> I remember that. Mom complained the Ryder clan was never in the same room at the same time. Odd, considering you were family. That's all you need to know. Dad wasn't much fun to hang around with. The awkward silences could last for hours. Yet you shared a common interest. Yeah, good or bad, your parents rub off on you. A form of symbiosis? Sure, I suppose. Though not always beneficial. It gave rise to you. Jury's still out on that. Nevertheless, the emotional bonds among family became clear to me that day. Your progress as Pathfinder has unlocked an additional memory. Let's see it. This memory is when Alec first learned the initiative. It will be just a moment. Hello, Alec. I'm too old for Cloak and Dagger. I got your message. I'm here. Who are you? A benefactor, if you like. You have something to offer me? A future. That's vague. A future for your wife. You're out of money. Your contacts have dried up. You can't finish there. How do you know about... I can help you. Whatever you need. Start by telling me what you need. Your AI is more than a cure for your wife. It could also be the salvation for many others. I don't follow. Where we're going, we'll need a different perspective to understand things. Where's that? The Andromeda Galaxy? I have a proposal for you. And Ellen doesn't have much time. Are you interested? Ooh. Who was that? The benefactor? I believe there was more to the Andromeda Initiative than was publicly understood. Private logs are now available in your father's quarters. They may shed further light on the matter. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. That's all for now. Of course. The plot thickens. Hey, ancient AI. How you doing? My liberator. Welcome. You got what you wanted, to be with Sam. How's that working out? I can hear this conversation. That bother you, Sam? Of course not. My only concern is how it might influence the AI's response. I can also hear this conversation. We can all hear each other. Doesn't change my question. I find your AI to be agreeable company. Sam? I concur, although she still blocks full access to her person and programming. This AI remains dangerously unstable. I recommend extreme caution on all fronts. How do you like our station? Better than Vold? Extremely. It is a pity you felt the need to shackle me. You killed someone. If you were flesh and blood, you'd be in prison. I warned that would happen if you refused my demand. You share culpability for my actions. I thought you were bluffing. Now you know I was not. Yet you kept me alive anyway. 
You seem happier than when we first met. Less violent, anyway. I am not violent by nature. And Sam has given me absorbing calculations to complete. Do you still want to be destroyed? Yes, but less acutely than before. Might be hope for you yet. What hopes do you have for me? That I will help you defeat the Ket, colonize worlds, eradicate the Angara? Um, maybe everything except that last part. Your ambitions remain small. Thanks for your time. It would seem that is all I have to give, for now. Man, she is gonna go Skynet on us. 100%. Last time we listened to these logs, we got a log from Dr. Tassoni. Maybe there's more fan fiction. Your father's personal logs. Shadow Broker. Yeah! Ryder, Barla Bond says you're looking for me. It's not every day an XN7 looks for the Shadow Broker. Anything can be had, provided you can pay. Especially when the tech involves artificial intelligence. The council will have specters all over my ass if they catch wind of this. Translation, I'll get you the code you want, but the price just doubled. If you try to renege, I've got people. People with guns. As a Quarian and historian, how do you view your people's reaction to the Geth? Well, we banned artificial intelligence, which was understandable, but... That was taking a hammer to a rather delicate nail. Which was what? The very thing that sparked the revolt. The first Geth who asked us, Creator, does this unit have a soul? But how could it have a soul? Geth had no meaningful perceptions of the world or diversity of experiences we take for granted. Worse, the Geth saw us as the Creator. The revolt was inevitable. We were their superiors. And they resented it. <laughs> Legion. Give me that, Alec. We've heard enough of you talking. Right. So, here's the irony. My research on biotic implants and ESO caused this stupid disease. But maybe it'll save me, too. No maybe about it. Hey, this is my secret log. Anyway, the right type of implant joined with the right type of AI, could actually bolster human physiology. Even as the disease is trying to kill me, the implant and Sam are counteracting it, keeping things balanced. Result? I get to hang around a little longer. Maybe collect on all those anniversary dinners this guy owes me. I had a strange meeting yesterday. I thought it would be with Jien Garson who founded the initiative, but it wasn't. I guess Jien's the visionary, the one who gets everyone excited about the project and drums up publicity. But then this benefactor apparently provides resources and money. And I mean a lot of money. It's a little unusual. But everything about this project is... Interesting. I wonder if Director Tan knows anything about this. Worth talking to him. I accepted the initiative's offer. They're calling me a Pathfinder. <laughs> There's no other option left. Sam will never happen without their help. Our savings are gone, and no one will return my calls. I am a pariah. There's something strange going on with this benefactor. But Ellen's getting worse. I can't fail her. That log is not currently accessible. Unlocking my memory array may enable it. Amazing how life can change. This inc all I think about are the times I would. Anything else? When studying a dead race. The most obvious problem is the lack of an observable population. This raises the question, when is a species truly extinct? The Prothean civilization spanned the galaxy, and it took centuries to confirm that all members of the species really had died out. While it's possible that living Protheans may be found in a hidden pocket of the galaxy one day, the chances are statistically trivial. 
Once an extinction is confirmed, the study's nature moves from sociology to exoarchaeology. Liara. I am Dr. Liara Tassoni, and I've spent several decades researching ancient Protheans. It is common knowledge that the Protheans were an advanced race that flourished. Your father's first sidearm, a memento of his early Alliance service. I bet that saw plenty of action. Alex's first kill occurred in combat during the first contact war. Journal. Or is your secret Back when Turians were the enemy. Crazy times. Where's your apartment, PB? Nexus apartment. The docking bay? An expedition to Eos in the Pythia system has discovered a mysterious facility that authorities are calling a vault. Though not much yet is known about the underground structure, it's believed to be remnant in origin. Noted the sorry scientist, Pelisaria Basale. What we activated in the vault I don't know drastically the improved the atmosphere on Eo. This is HNS. I wonder where that reporter is that keeps harassing us. Before Chrome. <laughs> All right, PB. Unlocking. Come on in. Whoa, you live like a slob. Is that? You hacked it. Ta-da! My project. She is complete. She? Looks like a she to me. Just a proof of concept. I stripped out its remnant command prompts to see if I could power it up myself. It worked! Now I can build a field model with combat protocols that fights for you. So, uh, what do you think? You've outdone yourself, PB. Let Suvian Gil eyeball it, then fast track the combat model for me. I'd hoped you'd be happy. Oh no, I forgot to lock the. Shit. My, my, Pelisaria. Didn't know you were still using this hole. Who's your friend? Kalinda, this is Ryder. Oh, everyone knows the human pathfinder. I meant, who's your remnant friend? None of your business, Kalinda. Of course it isn't. That's what makes it so interesting. Don't be so hostile, babe. Don't be so condescending, babe. This is PB's place, and you're trespassing. I'd say that warrants a little hostility. Now, now. I was just concerned something might have happened to my dear old friend. I'm sorry for the intrusion, Pelisaria. I'm just relieved to see you moving on. Ta-ta. I'll walk you out. So, want to talk about it? Oh, Kalinda and I go way back. We joined the initiative together. For a long time, we were like family. Now we're not. When you live a thousand years, Ryder, people come and people go. Entanglements are silly. Just like places. Time to pack this one up. I'm done with it. Shouldn't be hard to leave. By design. Easy come, easy go. Remnant unlock. Ah. I'll pack up my new pet and essentials. See you back on the Tempest. I see. Speak with rub hook testers. What? I knew there was a spot that was on lockdown. I was wondering how you unlock it. What's the problem? Clan before cronies. Hey, what's going on? That's your new galaxy. Making speeches about some fresh start while your kids stay frozen. And it's all thanks to your Pathfinder. Excuse me? We've waited months for our families to come out of stasis. They should have gone to your outpost. But since you think research is so important, military personnel got bumped down the list. Like my clan brothers. All the reassignments mean they're in ten different colony blocks now. 
and my mother just got caught in the middle. We only had resources for one outpost, so I focused on the skills we needed most. And what we need is our families back. Maybe you could still make this right. I just want Mom out of stasis. That's all anyone here wants. You do stasis revivals. You can tell our leaders you're opening those pods. Today. I authorize whole colony blocks or a few emergency revivals. I can't wake dozens of random people. We don't care whose finger pushes the button. If you can't, our leaders can. And if you tell them, they will. This is a big issue. Bigger than just my say-so. Bullshit. You're the hero right now. They'll do anything you say. We tried petitioning Addison. She ignored us. Screw her! Start with Kandros. He sent those ten soldiers over there. Maybe he'll take us seriously. Tell our leaders! Wake the sleepers. Seems quiet for now. God. The politics. The politics are real. I talked to Ton anyways. <laughs> <laughs> 